What makes you want to run to be president in the middle of this mess? For me, what happened in January 2018 changed everything. 38 minutes of terror. More than a million people warned of an imminent missile attack told this is not a drill. People ran for their lives after an alert. Worried they were minutes away from nuclear annihilation. You know, my friends, my family, people all across Hawaii got that alert and all of a sudden they had just minutes to live. All personnel in shelter immediately. Families huddling in closets, parents hiding children in manholes. They've got minutes to say goodbye to their loved ones. There are real dangers facing our planet due to climate change, but the reality of the threat that this nuclear catastrophe brings, the escalating tensions that have started a new Cold War, a nuclear attack that could strike anywhere in our country at any time, we're talking about an existential threat, complete and total annihilation within minutes. This threat of nuclear war, a nuclear attack, is not a game. I love this country. I love the American people. Throughout my life, I've tried my best to be of service to God, my community, and to our country, which is why after Al-Qaeda attacked us on September 11th, I enlisted in the Army National Guard. She is an Iraq War veteran, currently serving as a major. She is the first female combat veteran to run for president. The true mark of a leader is someone who puts service above self, who does what's right, even when, and especially, when what's right might not be popular with those in power. Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard sent shockwaves through the political world yesterday when she stepped down as vice chair of the Democratic National Committee. I have always and will always stand up for the people, putting them first over the interests of my party, over the interests of the political establishment or profits. You have faced some really harsh criticism from fellow Democrats. What happened in Hawaii last year made clear to me that there was just no way I could stand on the sidelines. Today, I announce my candidacy for President of the United States of America. I've spent more than six years in Congress on the Foreign Affairs, Armed Services, and Homeland Security Committees. I've served as a soldier for over 16 years, and I've deployed twice to the Middle East. I know the most important responsibility that the President has is to serve as Commander-in-Chief. I'm prepared to do that job on day one. Why were you the lone voice out there going after the neocons, going after the people that took us into these wars? And no one else is talking about this. It's easy to convince ourselves that just because we can't see it or feel it, that the threat does not exist. But we all received a very real wake-up call last year when we thought our country was under attack. Our leaders have failed us. They have lied to our faces. They tell us, seek shelter. There's no shelter to be found. There are no designated nuclear bomb shelters in Hawaii. They've created these threats through their policies. When people are running and trying to seek shelter, there is no shelter. There's no place to go. There's no place to hide. There is no place safe for our loved ones. Meanwhile, they continue to push us closer and closer to the brink of nuclear war. And unless we deal with pulling back, walking away from this abyss of nuclear disaster, nothing else is gonna matter. We need a president in the White House who is prepared to lead from day one, who won't bend to the wishes of the foreign policy establishment or the military industrial complex, who has the courage to meet with both adversaries and friends alike to de-escalate tensions with these nuclear armed countries, to do what is necessary to bring about an end to this new Cold War and nuclear arms race, and to put the interests of the American people and our country above all else. Join me in ushering in this new century with peace, prosperity, opportunity, and justice for all. I'm prepared to take on this role and to serve and protect the American people, to preserve our freedoms, to keep us safe and to ensure the security of the country that I love. That's why I'm offering to serve you as President of the United States of America.